<laughs> Hello everybody and greetings from the Tampa RV show one more time industry day today here and uh, the main reason I'm coming in here not really because of the Prevost it's because it's very hot out there but we're gonna see some of the Prevost some of the some of the pleasure ways and I think Airstream is in here too so we'll do those too I'm riding Riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Guys, I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, as I said, here we are in the in the main pavilion, air conditioning. And uh, first of all, let me show you what um, this is a realm. I don't know. It doesn't look inviting to go in there. I think it's by appointment only. I don't know, I'm just gonna show them to you from the front here. Because what I really wanna see is the Airstreams. Oh, well, here we go. This is what you guys wanted to see and uh, a lot of people wanted to see the new Airstream Atlas. This is the Atlas TB, regular $244,000, uh, but at the show, here at the RV show, only $219,999. This is the Tommy Bahama edition, and uh, it does. Uh, let's let's check it out. Let's just check it out. Here we have a nice, very large three. You can probably even fit four people in there. Sofa bed. Here we have. You know. You know. Had to look at this, right? Main ceiling. And these are, I believe, dimmable. So if you hold it right, you can dim them. Very cool. This is a Murphy bed, by the way, and a nice mirror here, so you can see yourself. And as you can see, that's me. And uh, hopefully you can hear, hear me well as well as see me. Here we have a TV that goes up and down with the Bose, um, the Bose um, sound bar, which probably sounds great. Storage here on the top. More storage here. And here, what is this? This is like a... This is a, this is a, a wine a wine bar or something like that like a, you can I don't know that's very very cool we got our standard Nord cold two way refrigerator and uh, with a, with a freezer at the back actually no this is compressor I kid you not this is compressor based all electric. We have a convection microwave, very nice L-shaped kitchen with, I wouldn't expect anything less from a quarter million dollar rig. Very nice Korean countertop, very nice sink. Two burner propane here in the back for the, your trash. Now here in the bathroom, beautiful, beautiful shower. Let's see, let's do the shower test. I'm sure there's a way to make it stay but um okay here we go yeah this is very large 510 and i have at least half a foot to spare on the top very nice mirror here will make you look pretty prettier up here but yeah plastic toilet why huh. i don't know Nice wardrobe closet here. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind the plastic toilet all that much. I mean, the poop goes to the same place regardless. But, I mean, this is uh, Airstream's flagship here. <laughs> Leave the island life. This is the Tony Bahama version here. You see, it's very nice upholstered, this uh, storage area up here. And this is, of course, on the brand new Mercedes Benz. The, 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 the brand new chassis. Let's see the other atlases. Because this, this should be the flagship right here. And I forgot the model number. What's the model number? 
This is the Atlas TB, 2020 Atlas TB. Let's look at the other Atlas here. This is the Atlas Murphy, and uh, let's check it out, Atlas Murphy. It's very similar to the TB. I don't know exactly what the difference would be. But this one has the Murphy bed there. Oh, this one has a different storage deal. It's probably almost the same thing, except this one doesn't say Ton Tony Bahama. Tommy Bahama. This is a slide out, by the way. Same deal with the TV that goes up and down probably. And it has the TV lift. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Down is up and up is down. So you have to push down to lift it up. It's very nice actually, I like it. Same refrigerator, which is, as I said, it's compressor based, it's very cold. And back here, the bathroom, same deal. You hear that? That is the sound of plastic. Same deal. All right, very similar, very similar. Actually, I like this one with, with, uh, almost better than the Tony in Bahama. I like, I kind of like this. Uh, it, it feels marine in a way. And here we have that. Uh, can we do this? Boom. <laughs> I love doing that, messing people up. All right, let's look at one more of this Atlas. Let's see if they have a different floor plan here. This is, yes, they do. This is the Atlas. Oh no, this is the, yeah, th those are the Atlas. This is the inner state, which is the class B, regular class B, which is uh, also based on the, on the, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, on the Sprinter chassis, but it's more like a proper B class uh, RV. All right, let's do, let's do one of these inner states, which as I mentioned, is a, a true class B because it is not built on a cutaway chassis like the Atlas, which is more like a C. This is built on, the, this is actually, I like this one. Let's check this one out because I like the fact that it's built on the short uh, Sprinter chassis. This one is the 2020 Interstate TB19, which leads me to believe it is a 19 foot long RV. This is 176, but today only 155, uh, 184. Let's check it out. And this, I would, I would love, I would love to, to be able to mentally downsize to something like this, because this will fit in a regular parking spot. This is one of those things, you know. Now the bathroom, in, what, in this, these units, I mean, is the loss of physics, right? It's gonna be on the small-ish side, but still, actually, this is not so bad. It's a wet bath, of course, but it's much better than the Casita that I that I <laughs> tested, you know, six years ago when we were looking for for something small. This here, I don't know exactly what it is, but here we have our um, our galley. You know, standard stuff. It's, it's not, 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 not bad. And here we have a Nord Cold, and this is an absorption. This is an absorption based refrigerator, it seems. You know how I can tell? Kind of the, the freezer in the, in the compressor refrigerator has those ridges where the Freon goes through, and this one doesn't. So this is absorption. This is probably propane and electric. Here we have a tiny microwave. It's pretty, but it's tiny. And um, some storage here, the island life. This leads me to believe that this is the Tommy Bahama version. Here we have some controls. The tr has a Truma, Truma Combi, it looks. More controls here, power systems, more storage. Um, little TV in front of the sofa where it should be and of course I, I dropped my my map of course all this would um, turn into a bed back here which you would have to make every time you know every day which it's uh, it's is the price you pay for having something 
then can, they can fit pretty much anywhere. Yeah, that's the, the Tommy Bahama Relax Edition. Very nice. Oh, this here I like. This is the same length, but this is a four-wheel drive model. And let's see how much this is. Interstate 19, four-wheel drive for the adventurous in you. Four-wheel drive. It's pretty dark in here. Let me see if we have some some lights. No, no. This one, this one is not connected to power. We have no power here, so this is kind of dark. But it's pretty much the same. It is the same layout inside. It's just dark. All right, now uh, while we are at Airstream, let me show you my favorite, if I can find it. Well, I couldn't find the Airstream that I really like, but might as well, let's check out the classic. And um, I'm hoping this is the one, well, this is, uh, this is not it, but let, let's, let's see it anyways. This is, um, has a front, the rear bed, and uh, actually very nice galley. Very nice, you have the counter extension here. Not that you need it because you have all this counter space here. Huge, huge sink, three burner, stove, oven, absorption style refrigerator with a nice, nice size too. Oh, it comes with a tire pressure monitoring system. Hmm. It's a pretty decent size closet here with the light. I like those little details. That's that's what makes a uh, Airstream special. Those little details like lights in the closet that turn on automatically or or a clothesline here on the, in the inside the shower. You know. Those are the, this the, it's the, the little details that, how do you put this back in? Hello? I think I broke it. Oops. And here, the nice walk around bed in the bedroom with, with a view. Like if you back into one of those sites at Key West at Boyd's campground, that's going to be the ocean right there behind you. And uh, here we have the toilet and a nice sink here too. Very nice, actually. Very large. Yeah, don't tell him I broke the clothesline. <laughs> and here, pantry. Look at that, pull out pantry. Very cool. And up here, is this soft clothing too. More for your like spices and stuff, look at that. Very nice skylight here, fantastic vent, or fantastic style vent, vent. More storage with this one soft closing too, yeah. And, uh, skylight. Ah, very nice. All right, let's continue. Let's continue uh, looking at some other RVs here. I couldn't find the corner bed unit that I like. Next time. Riding, riding in my